Hi everyone, Dave from Daily Tech TV here with another Q&A session for you. And I've got a question from Mr. BD9. Will you buy Windows 8 and what is your opinion on it? Well, first of all, will I buy it? I certainly hope not. I'm not really a Windows user. All of my computers bar one is an Apple computer, so I'm Mac OS X all the way through. But I might well buy it to put onto a test system because I need to stay current with what's happening on all platforms so that I can certainly bring the viewers, you guys and girls, some opinion. Now, I've got a Mac Mini sitting behind me here and I've got Parallels running on that with Windows 8, the public beta. And I installed that, obviously, so I could test it and talk to you about it. Now, my opinion, the actual user interface, really nice. They've done a nice, fresh job of how everything looks with the tiles. Now, you all know, apart from the app selection on Windows Phone 7 or 7.5, I love the fluidity and the elegance of the UI there. Windows 8 on the desktop, I'm not sure it works. I don't think it translates to the desktop or a laptop. But where I do think it would be really popular is in the tablet scene. And I think they will do very, very well with Windows 8 powered uh, tablets. I think that would be very, very popular because everything feels, with those big tiles, it feels like you want to touch it and swipe on a screen. With a desktop, I don't think it really works. It's just my opinion. The other thing that annoys me about, Win about Windows 8 is that they've still really got the same code underneath. So you can click through and get a Windows 7 experience, the same underlying code, and Windows 8 is really just like some sort of skin across the top. I know there's more changes than that, and that's a very simple way of explaining it, but I just wish that somebody at Microsoft would say, right, let's start completely from scratch. And if we don't support all of the old legacy computers out there and the legacy equipment, tough. This is time for change. We're gonna just do Windows 9. And if you don't buy a new computer that supports it, then you can't run it. I think that's what they need to do, a brave move, really, to gain people like me into the Windows sort of gang as such. I hope that sort of really expresses my opinion. It's really difficult because I know, I know Microsoft have to support, they've got such a large user base, they have to support all of the legacy equipment. But I think at some stage they've just got to take that big step and say, right, that's it. We're no, from sort of year four onwards, we're no longer supporting all this old equipment. You have to buy new. I think that would be a brave move, but a move in the right direction. So thanks very much for watching this video. Please do leave me some new questions. Please do hit that subscribe button, of course. Give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you all in the next video.